Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I want to teach you how to create the color splash effect in Lightroom. I'm going to make one in Photoshop as well, but I really wanted to make one in Lightroom because I didn't see a lot of tutorials on it and it's actually a lot easier in Lightroom than it is in Photoshop. And I know a lot of more photographers edit their photos and color grade them in Lightroom. So why not just make a tutorial in Lightroom as well? Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it helps you out. Hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here I have some photos from a Raptors game that I shot like last week and basically I color graded everything. You want to do that first before you start the effect because the colors that are going to show you still want those colors to be you know graded properly. So I have some pictures of Fred Van Leet here. All these are Fred Van Leet actually. I just chose him because he was wearing a bright red jersey or not jersey um, like warm up outfit or whatever. The first thing you want to do is actually color grade because like I mentioned before, you want those colors that are going to be shown to be how you want them. So I use my smooth criminal preset for this and I tweaked it a bit. You can check that out in the description if you decide to purchase it. So basically once you finish color grading, what you want to do is go down to HSL right here and that's all you need. We're only going to be using HSL right now. So I'm going to show you guys what the difference and talk about the difference between these three different sections right here. So hue, saturation, and luminance. So hue basically changes the hue of a color. So red right here, if you just change it, it'll change that color only. Um, in the background, you see there's a bit of blue. You can change that. For luminance, it changes the brightness of a color. So red, it'll just become brighter and darker if you lift it up. And saturation, which is what we're going to be using for this tutorial, changes the saturation of vibrance, like how how much the color pops. So for red, you can see here, if you lower it, it just becomes more colorful, right? Um, all you do, let's use this for example, because there's more um, things in the background. All you want to do is decide what colors you want to keep. So I want to keep red and I also want to keep his skin tone, which is usually yellow or orange. Sometimes they may go into purple and magenta. So be careful, but literally just lower everything so orange you can see actually represents red in this case so does red so we want to keep red and orange there yellow doesn't actually decrease his skin tone that much so we'll lower yellow and then we want to lower everything else and that's basically it so you can see what that does this was how it was before and then this is how it was after you can see that the whole background all the colors are sort of gone uh, if i copy this onto another one you can see that it does the same thing. Uh, let's actually do this on something with a more colorful background. So something like this, you can see how it can be more aggressive. I would actually increase the highlights for this one. You can see how skin tones kind of gone here. So you may want to increase like the yellow a little bit right there and increase the luminance for that as well. Cause it's kind of dull. What you could do is use the adjustment brush. So all you want to do is press on it right here. Just select that area that you want to adjust. So like something like this, and then you just want to lower the saturation and then boom. So if you zoom out that part, it's not really a good job, but let me just show you again. Let's make the exposure zero and let's make the brush a little bit bigger and the feather zero. Say we selected all this area in the back and then we lowered the saturation, boom. So if some colors don't pick up, then you can just do it yourself. You can also do this for like places where it's a little bit like dull, you can select it and then increase the vibrance this time. So something like this, you can just increase the saturation. So you can see there's more orange that appears. So I can't release a particular preset for this because depending on what color you want to keep, it's gonna have different settings or else I would have released a preset for this. But you can create your own preset if you take a lot of photos in the city, for example, and you don't want the sky to have color. So you can, you know, lower the saturation for the blue colors. You can create a preset like that. For me, if I did a lot of Raptor games, I could just save this as a preset. They're gonna have the same arena. They're gonna have the same background. They're, they're gonna have the same warm up jerseys. So I could just create a preset. So um, to create a preset, you just want to press right here and press create preset. But let's go ahead and copy this and paste it on something like this where it's orange in the background. It kind of works, but the only thing is orange still appears because I didn't lower orange. And you see if I lower orange here, his skin tone also lowers. So what I can do in this instance is do what I did uh, with the adjustment brush with the other uh, picture. So if I just select this, 
and obviously I would be more careful. Uh, so I would like lower the brush size and stuff and like, but I'm doing it real quick right here. I would lower saturation and you can see how you could do that. Even the reflection at the bottom here, you can lower that, but that's going to take a lot of time. So I'm actually just going to do this real quick. You wouldn't be able to do this with the HSL because they target certain colors and only those colors will be removed. If you have a color that's kind of in between red and orange, like this photo, it's hard to, you know, remove that color specifically. So that's why it was still left there. And sometimes the skin tone will be the same color as something else. So you can remove that. So a good way to uh, do this is using the adjustment brushes. So as you can see here, part of his like skin and stuff like that got cut off because I did it really fast. So what you can do instead is under the brush settings, you can press erase and kind of erase it. So erase the, you know, mistakes you made. So you can press um, fill or one, one or three, one, depending on how close you want to go. And then you can just fix it up. So you want to use this uh, navigator right here instead of clicking on the screen to zoom in and out because um, you're in the adjustment brush setting. So you won't even be able to zoom in and out. So go to certain parts. So right here, let's make the brush bigger. And you can go ahead and do that. So you want to just scroll up and down to make the brush bigger and smaller. So this is going to be a long process. It's going to be a very similar uh, process in Photoshop too. So here we want to go back on the brush because it's a little off right here. Then we're going to go back to erase and use the navigator. So back to the brush. And back to, to erase. So you can actually take shortcuts for things that are like black already. So like his hair, you can just go through it and it doesn't really affect anything. Um, his eyes and stuff like that, his eyebrows. So for stuff like that, to make it faster, you can do that. Maybe his jersey as well, if it's black. And I think that's it. Um, looks pretty good. And yeah, so you would want to do this on every single image. Some images, you won't have to do this if the colors are, if, if the skin tone isn't the same color as any other color or the jersey color isn't the same. So for something like this, where the things in the background don't really have same face or anything, maybe besides this right here, uh, it's easier to do. So if we just did this real quick. You can see there isn't as much to fix here. So doing a, the adjustment brushes and stuff like that won't be as hard. Like boom, it, like we're basically half done right here, right? You can see what I mean about how some stuff could be easier. I think something like this would be easier. Like I didn't even use an adjustment brush. I don't think I have to, um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.